Okay, fellow Corvette fixer-upper guys. <laughs> I wanted to do a quick video on where I stand with my 73 Corvette. That was a replacement for my 74 that had the rusted out frame. And I'm using the 74 for parts for this 73. And um, decided to save the 73 instead of the 74. So uh, I had done the True Flex bumper and I had done a video on how I installed it. And a couple of people asked me about the finished product. How did it turn out? And this is the result. Now, obviously it needs primered and painted, but um, this is the result. It turned out really good. I think it's right on. At least as good as I can get it. Um, also, my headlight doors are done. They're lined up and trimmed and hopefully good. Um, the hood, um, which did not fit well at all. It um, had a nice gap on the passenger side up at the firewall but the driver's side the hood was actually hitting the fender um, so I've adjusted all of that and fixed it also um, this side of the hood was a half inch low through this area right here um, here's the nose from about here to about here this whole area this curve was a half inch low I tried different things to try to fix it I blocked used rubber blocks and shimmed it up and what I wound up happened happened was when I used the rubber blocks open the hood I put the rubber blocks I had one right here and you can see this area right here that section the rubber block was sitting right there when I closed the hood on it, it snapped that channel right off. It just busted it right off. So, I knew that wasn't going to work. What I wound up doing is I wound up making kerf cuts or saw cuts using my angle grinder in the fiberglass channel under underneath, which allows the hood to flex. And then I put a rubber block here. I fiberglass that drop the hood back down, let it conform to the new shape, and I wound up getting rid of that that difference. And I had the same problem on the driver's side, but it was only a quarter inch off. Um, so I made only one cut on that side. Now I determined that the problem was not the hood, but the front clip. And, I, and I'm positive that the front clip was a replacement front clip I found some issues with it and aside from that the where the um, horn relay is supposed to be right there on the inner fender well it was not there um, there's not even a holes there where it would be mounted and the wiring had been cut that was supposed to go to the horn relay so I don't know how they had the car wired up I never ran the car um, it did not run when I got it uh, the motor had been rebuilt but not assembled completely so I had to finish it up and I'm replacing all of the wiring so I had ripped all the wiring out anyway so I'm pretty sure that this front clip was not the correct or not the original front clip and whoever put it on probably didn't do a good job um, the other thing I ran into was when I I replaced the body mounts and I had to fix the um, Three of the body mounts were rusted out, and I had to fix those. So I had to raise the car up about a foot, put in inserts, and fix the body mounts. Um, you're not going to be able to see it. I mean, I could probably get a light in there and show them to you, but it's probably not worth it. Um, I had it on jack stands when I did all of that, after I did it. And I mounted the doors back on, adjusted all the gaps up real nice. Well, about a month or so ago, when we took the car out of the garage to get things rearranged I put it down on the wheels and son of a gun the gaps changed so uh, taught me a lesson on that one if you're going to do your gaps you got to do it with the car sitting on the wheels now I don't know how you manage to change or add body shims 
with it done that way because the only way you can put the shims in is you got to lift the darn body up off the frame again so i don't know i'm not sure about all that anyway i wound up with a decent gap on the right on the passenger side it's a tiny bit off but i can live with it um the driver's side was a different story uh the gap was bad in the front it was really bad it uh um and i so i've added fiberglass here i'm going to redo the gap and then put the door back on and, and fine tune it and it'll be ready to paint the car has been completely block sanded i put on a coat of epoxy primer two or three coats of slick sand i can't remember if it was three um i think i did two and then i block sanded it and then i did another coat and block sanded it again um, and it's sanded down to 320 grit, black sanded, and I use the um, black powder um, guide coat. This is what I used, dry guide coat to black sand it. I think I've done a good job. I'll find out when I put that black cherry paint on it because it'll sure show everything if I didn't. Uh, so it's ready to paint. I just got to get this this last thing, which is this door, the gap, get it done, fine-tuned, and uh, then I'll have to re-sand this area and block sand it and make sure it's all just as, as how it needs to be. Anyway, I think that's a long enough video. It's six and a half minutes. Um, let me show you the... I'm going to let the hood down. I don't have any latches on right now. I took them off when I was doing all this work. But... Uh, I just wanted to show the hood reveal, um, how it turned out. Um, uh oh, compressor kicked on. Sorry about that. But I'm done with the video anyway. Let me go shut it off. <laughs> ah well, when you're doing videos. Anyway, that's that's the 73, and uh, I know I started this out over 10 years ago with the 74 Corvette, and after moving out here to the farm and getting a new shop set up and everything else, I got in, I realized that the frame on the 74 was probably just beyond repair. It was really bad. So I bought a 73 looking for a frame, and I wound up deciding to keep the 73 and turn the 74 into a parts car. Because this car was completely trashed when I got it, the 73. It was really bad. The whole interior was shot, including the seat frames. They were rusted out because the car sat outside. So, But the frame is good. It's a good, solid frame. So, All right, that's that's the update on the 73 and before paint. And after I got it painted, then I'll do another update and let you see how it's turned out. And... Uh, uh, subscribe to my page if you want i don't get any money out of this so i know there's a way to monetize or make money off of food to youtube and stuff but i don't know how to do any of that stuff so all righty hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was informative so you all have a good day let me get back here and see if i can get more the whole car before i shut it off get all the way back here in the corner well, it's better than nothing. Obviously, I don't have a windshield in it. Stance is pretty bad right now, but I'll take care of that. All right, have a good day.